Then the night hip hop music. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, season five, episode nine, nine free at last review. So we see Dime at a skating rink with this blue jumpsuit and her crazy pink hair with her big butt. Um, so she hasn't been in one since Memphis. So I assume that she's there to meet little Scra little Scrappy, but she actually meets Young Jock, and she talks about how um something with Bambi and him and how Bambi was mad. Like of course she still loves him. So what do you expect? And Young Jock was like, so you want to kick it or something? He a little flirt. Not a little flirt. He is, but he he's more like a like a lot of a player. You know, you get what I'm saying. And then we see Stevie, um, they ran into some complications with the movie. Maybe it's a money issue. I don't know. But they're trying to get things started for the hookah, the hookah, um, bar. And then we see Tommy popping pop, pop, Tommy popping up. She always popping up somewhere, you know. So, we learned that Scrap took care of her so she didn't have to hustle. I personally think that a woman should hustle for herself, you know. Be a little independent. You don't want a man doing everything for you. Because when the man is gone, what you going to have? That's right. You ain't going to have nothing. So learn to hustle for yourself, ladies. Um, she used to rap and she used to do everything. Acting, modeling, everything. You know, the typical thing that these loving hip-hop girls do. And, all, and far be it for me to say, all I've seen her do is fight and throw roses. Also, how is she going to be known as a businesswoman when... When she, with that behavior, then we see Carly and Scrap and she's in the car and they're telling each other how they like each other and stuff like that. And then she has to tell life that she likes Scrap and then far be it for her to say like, oh, where's life? And far be it. She's like, she's on life support or something. And Carly started to tear up when he, he said that he's going to have to go away for a while because of his life sentence and she likes him a lot you know and then we see dawn i don't really like Aunt dawn you know there's some people that you see and you don't really like them and um dawn tells her that there is this rumor on tmz or something like that i don't really remember right now about um her bleaching stevie's clothes and stuff like that and then jocelyn starts to talk about the contract her contract the music contract but anyway she says that this contract is up it's been three years and she's been talking with her lawyer and she is now managing herself and then we see mama d's husband ernest and rashida's mom i finally got her name because in one of her other videos i did not know what her name was uh, rashida's mom charlene meet to talk about mama d and we actually get to know i don't know if they mentioned this in another episode or not but she actually has bipolar and a problem with alcohol they didn't mention that in another video, but now we know, and I didn't know that, and um, probably a lot of other of you didn't know that either. But anyways, I bet Shirlene feels bad now Now that she knows what's wrong with Mama D. Mm, I do too. I always thought that she was just eccentric, so it's talking about the palace, and don't mess with little Scrappy, and this and that, and you know. And she suggests that they see a therapist and counseling session with Pastor Couch. And then we see Tommy. She says, oh, I was just running, making a run. And then she sees this receipt in the car. And she finds out about him smashing Carly. She's not really. She's she's all the way pissed off. And she pulls his hair and everything. She she She's violent with men. She should watch out about that. But anyway, she asks if he smashing her. And he lied to protect her. And talking about business ventures with his uncle and all this freaky deaky stuff. And she mad, she crying, she's strong, she's doing all this stuff, trying to make herself seem like she's okay, but she's not. He she making such she making herself look crazy. Like move on girl. I don't know if she doing it or Mona Young making her look crazy because that's not cool. And he feels intimidated. He's like, Oh crap. And then Scrap tells Carly about the receipt. She says she didn't plant it. Or maybe it was one of the producers that might have planted it. Mm. That blazer was cute though. Couldn't stop looking at it. She feels like he is in a love triangle. Threw something on, girl. And then we see Jocelyn. She is beat. She is beat. And she threw something on. It's like, girl, I just threw this on. But she didn't. 
It didn't look like she did. But anyways, moving on, moving on. Moving on, getting stuck on getting stuck on the topic. Stevie has a new baby. What? Where where this new where did this news come from? She talked to the girls. To the girl. The stripper or whatever. You guys know. If you watched it, you know. Two two babies by two women. And maybe is disgusted by this news. She says she's so happy this she's not happy. Why would she be happy? Get it together. Miss Cheetah, get it together. She says she's so happy that this is I did it again. She says she's so sorry that this is happening to her. So sorry that this is happening to her. She said no to him staying in her home, but Jocelyn wants him to stay there because she does not want him in the house. And Carly loves to have her own radio show. She just really likes it. And then we see Tommy walking up in the building. Does not like that. And Tommy confronts her, and then they start to be like, yeah, I saw the receipt in this car. And then Tom, and then Carly's like, what is she doing in this car then? And Tommy's, and Carly's like, this doesn't make any sense. And then Tommy goes in her confessional, or not the confessional, telling her, she called her a 40-year-old idiot. She says she isn't a mother to her daughter. Well, I didn't know what, if she had a son or a daughter, because I'm really fly like that. And then Carly had the nerve to, ooh, call her a hoe. But... I'm sorry. Carly is not a hoe. Tommy is not a hoe. Wait, what did I say? Tommy isn't a hoe. Carly is a hoe. And sorry, I usually don't swear. But I promise I won't swear again. And ooh, Tommy was on the floor. Then she got on the table. So in next time's next time episode. We see Mimi talk about the babies to Stevie. And then we see this platform thing of Deb about anti-bullying. And we see D Smith and we see Betty Idol come back. Not looking forward to seeing Betty Idol or D Smith. Don't really care about them. I'm sorry for those of you who like them. But yeah. And Scrap prepares to leave for his sentence. Oh, he has to cut his hair. I mean, his hair looked nice, I thought. But, hey, some people might feel different. And that's about it for this episode. Also, just some news for the channel. For those of you who are subscribed, you probably won't be seeing my face that much anymore. Just because, I don't know, I just don't feel like showing my face anymore. But, hey, you might see it every once in a while, but not that much. So, um, I thank you all for watching. And I, see, I will see you all next time. Bye.